Hello, it's Jay here again. Welcome to another tutorial. So today we're continuing on refining the player one movement. And in this lesson, we're actually going to make start on the jumping mechanic. Now, I actually, I'll, I'll I'm going to change some values here. Basically, the jump height speed horizontal. And while I change this to 0 0.5, 1, and 1. And I'll explain the reason why. I mean, obviously, these values are working better for my project. There was also one little thing that I forgot to do previously. So we'll fix that today as well. And I actually have a duplicate of this project, which I use for testing. So that's where I came up with these values from. And it's, um, <clears throat> it's a good idea if you do the same. Um, it never hurts to have a duplicate of a project to actually experiment when you find in these values or you want or in your case maybe experimenting with script my mine's normally just for testing out values but it can come in helpful sometimes especially for debugging now i've changed those in the script but because they're public variables they will not have updated in the attach script in the inspector. So I'm just again using black robot as my robot of choice just to, for demonstration. So I've changed them there. So you may ask why change them in script if I'm going to change them in the inspector anyway. Well, what I like to do is once the script is fini finished, I normally set all the public variables to private. And if I keep these updated, then there should be no issues. So that's one of the reasons why. So let's come now to player jump. So now we're in play jump. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a vector three and we're going to call this underscore jump height and temp will do. I'm going to say it's going to be equal to a new vector three And we're going to set this to zero comma underscore player jump height comma and then zero again. And this will actually help this, the script to define the jump height better. It's something I really should have done in the previous videos but um, just feel lack of time and trying to desperately find a bit of free time to get these videos out sometimes I will miss the odd thing such as this but never mind I'll always come through and test out projects and come back and finish little things like this so we'll never miss them all together but we just might need to double back some time. So I'm saying in the comments, defines jump height temp variable as the player jump height on the Y axis. And we'll come to player jump, well, the if block should say within player jump, and this line, if play one transformed opposition dot y 
we're going to change that to this variable here jump height jump temp and then we'll say dot y as well because we only need to reference that dimension out of these three and you may ask why this is necessary and again it's just good practice to define things such as this as a vector 3 it can save it can it can save issues sometimes people don't have issues sometimes they do if they do this should help alleviate that so now we need to come down <clears throat> don't worry about this red dot here that's just because of the recording um, equipment or software that I'm using. So, we're going to come to the standard input manager and if input get access vertical and under that we just need to state another if block if open and close brackets underscore analog stick value is greater the 90 plus the degree modifier I'll enter here already because we'll get this across two lines the two vertical bars to represent all analog stick angle is less than 90 degrees minus the degree modifier <coughs> We'll come below, we'll say return, we'll close that line off. Actually, we need an else after that. So, if it's outside the boundaries that we've defined by these two angles, then we'll return, else we'll set the state to play one jump. And we'll put this into the comments. So, if the analog stick angle that's just type it out normally this time is greater than 90 plus the degree modifier come to the next line we'll say or analog stick angle is less than 90 minus the degree modifier next line we'll put the normal comment We'll put then do nothing and return. And we've got an empty line there, so I'll just get rid of that. We'll save that off there. We'll downsize for now. And again, if you can bear with me, I'll just grab the controller and plug it in. So, yep. We did change those at the beginning of the video, so we'll just let it run through. And we'll test it out. Round one. Fight. So the gravity is a little strong still, but that's not a problem. We can fix that, but the jump is working nicely. So is our previous controls. We actually already fixed. So everything's certainly working a little better. Like I said, I do need to work on the gravity and the come down feature but again we'll fix that as we go along in the next lesson we'll 
begin the jump horizontal input and we'll test that out now once I've done the horizontal input there are two things I can do I can either continue on to fix the gravity and continue to refine the play one controls or I can move along do something new and then come back to the play one controls so I'm unsure what to do because it makes I don't mind either way but obviously I don't know what would be more interesting to you the viewers so if you have any suggestions of what you prefer please leave them in the comments below and we'll leave it there for this video so as always I hope you enjoyed this lesson I hope to see you next time and until then as always Bye for now.